Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer and welcome back to another video. And I've gotten into a game where there's giant death robots in Civ 6. You know, I don't think it's in the base game, I think you have to have Gathering Storm, but giant death robots exist. And I want to talk about, like, if they're really worth it to get. Now, giant death robot takes a lot. It's a big production and it uses up three uranium a turn. It's got some CO2 emissions, but it's an insanely powerful military unit. It is the most powerful military unit in the entire game. And it's a ranged unit at that with, I believe, yeah, three range. So lots of range, lots of health. If you put it in a city, the city is super strong. And I wanna see if it's worth it. And overall, I expected the giant death robot to be a lot weaker than it actually is. And you know, I've especially researched some future text to help me like with the giant death robot, create a giant death robot that's more powerful. And I'm just saying, dude, it's worth it. Even if you're not um, like at war and you just want a good defensive unit, I think that's where the giant death robot uh, is really, really strong, is it is a one size fits all military unit. Yeah, it's not a melee unit, but it takes stuff out. It it's a good unit, you know? You can use just it to siege a city. You can use it to defend a city. You can use it to take out armies, you know? Um, I like that it's not overpowered. Well, I mean, it's an investment. I would say it's overpowered, but that's the nature of it. But it's not like you can build five of these things easily. How are you gonna get 15 uranium? I don't know. Um, I still find a use, though, even though I have this giant death robot, for other units, which is really kind of cool. And I did notice that it didn't take a lot of missile cruiser ar armadas to take it out. Um, I had, was playing a game, the AI left one, and a missile cruiser armada at level 4 promotion did, I think, 15 damage to it. So, you know, if you have a lot of ships, I mean a lot of ships and a lot of units, you can take one out, but, I mean, it's going to get some kills. It's going to do a lot of work, and I think that... The risk versus reward is definitely worth it to get the giant death robot. Now, I also saved up a bunch of money, and I just bought mine, you know? I think that's definitely the route to go, because, you know, I, I like, um, I'm like that guy that tries to play the long game every time. You know, I'll go for an early war if I want to, but I really like long game, and I like investing in stuff early, like investing in science really early and commercial hubs and stuff. That's how I like to play the game. And so for me, the giant death robot risk was not disabling a city's production to build this robot, but the investment was, is the capital that I spend on this robot that I could be spending on other units or the buildings, is it worth it? And yeah, it was totally worth it. I had the uranium for it. Um, at that point, I didn't need a lot of electricity. You know, I think a big thing is if CO2 levels aren't gonna bother you, or you have enough uranium for all your other uranium needs, I think the giant death robot is worth it. If you don't have a lot of uranium, no, don't do it. Don't do it. Um, if CO2 is gonna be a problem and you need to swap reactors to oil or you can't get enough solar, you know, whatever the case may be, wind, maybe don't invest in the robot, you know? Because it definitely feels like picking the robot, I definitely picked the robot over other things that I could have used in other ways. So also when you buy that robot, make sure you got a plan for your giant death robot. Every single one should have a plan, you know, and I had a plan for mine and it paid off with ha conquering a bunch of cities. But yeah, that's it for this uh, video guys. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, it's all about giant death robots. I'm excited to actually have some games where I use them more because they're a really cool unit. Um, let me just think about them in the comments below. Have you come up against one? Like, what scared me was I bought one because I saw an AI with one and it was intimidating. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games. And I will see you in the next episode, stream, vlog, or Instagram post of whatever I decide to make.